everybody, let everybody that have breath praise the Lord on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Hallelujah. It's good to be back again. Hallelujah. The Son of Man has come to seek out and to give life to those who are lost on this morning. Hallelujah. And you'll find that over in Luke 19 and 10. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because we serve an awesome God. We serve a magnificent God. We serve a God of second chances. Hallelujah. God has given us a second chance on today to get it right with him. Hallelujah. He woke us up this morning. Hallelujah. In our right mind, clothed with the activities of our limbs. God has given us everything that we need to make it in the day of this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, today, guys, I'm not going to prolong the time. I'm just going to jump right into the word of God. And today's message is serving God will pay off after a while. Serving God will pay off after a while. And I'll be coming out of the book of Matthew, verse chapter 26, verses 6 through 13. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hope everyone is doing well this morning. I hope that you got a good night rest on last night so that you'll be able to continue your day. Hallelujah. I pray that God covering upon each and every one of you and your household. I pray for traveling grace for the ones that's going to have to travel today. I pray that God will be a fist around you, that he would disperse his angels around your vehicle, bumper to bumper and side to side. I pray that he will go ahead of you. Oh, glory to God and pave the way for you to get to your destination safely and to bring you back from your destination safely to your home. So I thank God for that this morning. I thank the Lord for everything that he's doing in our lives in this time and in this season. I thank God for everything for he is good to each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Well, today I'm going to talk about the alabaster box, the joy of oil. Glory to God. See, Jesus stayed in Bethany. A woman came with an alabaster jar, a very precious perfume, and she poured it upon Jesus' head. Hallelujah. As he sat at the table, eating his meal. Hallelujah. And when this woman broke open this box of alabaster oil, the disciples became angry. They became very angry. And they said, we could have sold it and given the money to the poor. But Jesus said, don't trouble her. She's done a good thing. Anytime that you're doing something right for the Lord, are you doing something good for the Lord? It's a good thing. It will never go unnoticed. And, and Jesus began to tell them that, look, you're going to always have the poor people with you. But I'm not going to be with you always. She's preparing my body for burial. See, the gospel will be preached all over the world. And then what this woman is doing will be a memorial for what she is doing here today. Let me explain to you about the oil in the alabaster box. The oil carries nine spices, which corresponds to the nine fruit of the spirit. If you match the spices with the fruit of, spirit, of the spirit, spike knot will represent peace here. The woman anointed Jesus just before his crucifixion, which represents peace. Jesus was about to pay a heavy price to reconcile us to the Father so that we could have peace with him. Just like the alabaster box, which left a, an acceptable fragrance offering to God. The peace that we have with God is very expensive. Just like the oil, you just don't know the cost of the alabaster box. You just don't know the cause of it. See, this happened in a town of Bethany where many lepers 
and sick people, which caused the fragrance of the perfume to spread through the house of the poor, and those who were afflicted with peace brings about healing. Come on, somebody. You see, Jesus' body was broken and crushed for our peace as well as our healing. He paid the price for our physical, mental, and emotional healing. Still today, he's healing bodies and he's mending broken hearts. See, when we position ourselves in obedience to the Lord, his kingdom can flow freely out of us and fill the world with his peace, which brings healing and restoration. What has been broken can now be mended. All we have to do is to be an available vessel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be an available vessel for God to work through. And that will release that fragrance in our lives and cause an impact on others' lives. So this day, I encourage you to break the seal open and allow the oil to flow. The woman with the alabaster jar of oil is such a unique and valuable story in the Bible. Her story teaches us that we don't have to be high and mighty to make a difference. God can use us where we are. So whatever you got going on, God has forgiven you beyond measure. There is nothing that we can do to separate us from the love of God. He loves us regardless. But allow the oil to flow on you today so that the fragrance of God can flow out of you and touch others' lives. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful and wonderful day. Bye-bye now.